Hello, welcome to the Virtual Voyagers Travel Discussion Club. Today we are going to be discussing the idea of global pen pals. This is Mike Edding, and I am joined by my colleague Susan McBride in bringing this topic to you. We are recording this in April of 2020, as the world is grappling with a serious pandemic, the likes of which we haven't seen in our lifetimes. It occurred to us that sharing experiences with others across the world would be a way to enrich our lives and gain understanding of others. Pen pal services have been around for decades and technology has made a lot of things possible which previously were not. So today we'll discuss why you might want a pen pal, whether you might want a postal mail or electronic variety of one, how you might find a pen pal, and what privacy and safety considerations to keep in mind. Why might you want to get a global pen pal? Becoming a pen pal has many rewards. Lifelong friendships can begin with a simple exchange of emails or letters, but can then blossom into meaningful connections due to the nature of corresponding through the written word. Oftentimes, those seeking pen pals are looking to connect with someone from a new culture or background Interacting with someone from a different culture brings their culture alive firsthand, as opposed to just reading about a new culture in a book or an article. When you are practicing a new language, it can be intimidating to interact with a native speaker, yet this is one of the most recommended ways to becoming more proficient. Due to the anonymity of a pen pal, it can be less intimidating to practice language skills with them and it can help you to improve your grammar and vocabulary by writing and reading in a foreign language. Finally, exchanging letters or emails with a pen pal from across the globe can be an effective way to gain new perspectives on global issues. Learning how individuals in another part of the world view various topics can help you to develop a deeper understanding of global issues. One of the biggest decisions you are likely to make in your pen pal journey is whether to go old school pen and paper or to keep your conversations online. There are pros and cons to each approach. When we look at pen and paper, it harkens back to a previous age when things moved a little more slowly and people seemed to do things with a bit more care. Some advocates for pen and paper pen pals would say that because you're putting more effort into handwriting a letter, addressing it, buying postage, etc., that you will automatically get more out of the experience. This may or may not be true, but it is something worth considering. Other possible benefits of pen and paper include getting a better feel for the other person's culture via their stationery, postage, cancellation marks, etc. Because of the natural delay in receiving a reply, it builds a natural sense of anticipation as well. The cons of pen and paper include the time delay of postal mail, the cost of postage, and having to reveal your physical address because this eliminates a layer of privacy, though Susan will talk about ways around this problem. Probably the biggest advance in pen pal technology has been the, ab the ability to send messages electronically. Benefits of electronic delivery include immediate delivery of your messages. In some cases, conversations may be more like chat than email. Lower cost. At its core, electronic delivery of data is essentially free. Though to be fair, a number of these services do require a subscription to participate, or they may even require a per message fee. But once you exchange email or social media information with a pen pal, you could potentially cancel your ongoing service to save some money. I'd say the biggest negative of electronic pen pals is the easy come, easy go phenomenon. Because it is so effortless to communicate with and to find a new electronic buddy, the relationships you build may be more fleeting than those which are based on pen and paper, which require more effort. In this next section, we'll discuss some common sources that people use to find a pen pal.
Global Pen Friends is a pen pal service that has been around since 1995 to aid in matching pen pals. Global Pen Friends is a reputable pen pal service with security features to protect its users. You begin by providing basic profile information and creating an alias which will be used to identify you on the site. All initial exchanges between potential pen pals will be made through your Global Pen Friends account rather than your private email for security and privacy. You are able to choose the gender, age, language, and their home country. In addition, if you are uncomfortable with a pen pal they have matched you with, you have the ability to block that particular person. While it is free to sign up and you receive one credit every 12 hours to help you find a pen pal, if you want an unlimited ability to send out correspondence, the premium membership provides you with that for $49.90. In addition to email, you have the option of snail mail correspondence. There is a special section in the registration information to provide your mailing address if you are interested in receiving and sending physical letters as opposed to emails. If your primary interest in finding a pen pal is to improve your mastery of a new language, you might want to consider using conversationexchange.com since it was set up expressly to bring language learners together, either face-to-face, -face, through email, or through video or message chats using software such as iMessage, Skype, or FaceTime. Like Global Pen Friends, no personal contact information is given to your pen pals. Instead, all interactions are conducted through the Conversation Exchange site. Registration for the site is very simple, with basic information requested, including the one or two languages you are interested in practicing. You provide a nickname for use on the site for privacy, and you can create an avatar rather than providing a photo of yourself. ConversationExchange.com does display ads, but you are able to purchase an ad-free membership for $4.99 that will block ads for six months. PenPal World is a good option if you're looking for a full-featured service that allows you to get a good feel for the site before you commit to upgrading from your free account. With the free basic account, you are allowed to contact three pen pals per day, and your mailbox can hold three messages. You'll see ads on the site, but you're able to do most of the basic pen pal searching functions. Upgrading to a VIP account gets you an ad-free experience. It also allows you to contact many more people per day, I think something like 500. You can see what users have visited your profile and see a trail of what profiles you have visited. Importantly, you have access to your entire mailbox history. A VIP account is $8 a month, $56 a year, or $100 for lifetime access. PenPal World, like many of these sites, features a pretty good search engine. You can look for a pen pal by their country, whether they have a photo, their age range, their gender, and whether they are a VIP member. Unlike some services, it does not allow you to search by continent or region of the world like Europe or Asia. You can pause your profile if you'd like to take a break for some reason, like if you're going on vacation. Other users will still be able to see your profile, but it will be marked as paused. PenPal World easily allows you to block users and to see a list of users you have blocked. VIP members are even able to block entire countries. IPF World, where the IPF stands for International Pen Friends, is a throwback to another era. They have been successfully matching pen pals across the world for over 50 years. They believe they have a proven system in place, so there isn't much need to change it. It's a different beast from the other services mentioned here. They do the searching for you. They generate one list of pen pal candidates for you per year, and they only provide mailing addresses. No emails are given, though you are free to share this information through your written correspondence, of course. When making matches for you, 
they take into account things like age range, gender, language, and desired country. IPF World is currently priced at $35 a year for one adult and $45 a year for two adults. They send you around 10 contacts per year depending on your age range and whether you are a single or in a couple. Your address is also provided to about 10 additional people around the globe, giving extra opportunities for you to match. If you're the kind of person who's more likely to want to do a traditional pen and paper pen pal, this type of service may really appeal to you. Whenever you are providing information through the internet, you need to be mindful of what you are providing and who has access to it. The search for a pen pal is no exception. There are a couple of important things you will want to consider during this process. First, share only general information about yourself until you get to know your pen pal reasonably well. Choose a nickname or alias to protect your identity. Second, you want to make sure that you use a pen pal service, such as the ones mentioned in this program, to send and receive pen pal messages until you feel comfortable with your pen pal. When using these services, make sure you are familiar with their privacy settings and policies. They should all have them easily displayed on their websites. When setting up your profile, only provide personal information that you feel comfortable sharing. Do not include your address and phone number to start, and if asked for your birth date, you may want to use a date that differs from your actual birth date, possibly your half birthday. birthday. Discontinue correspondence with anyone who makes you feel uncomfortable or who persistently asks for personal information. If choosing a snail mail pen pal, you may want to consider getting a P.O. box so that you do not need to use your home address. When done in a safe and secure manner, pen pal relationships can be meaningful and rewarding by expanding your global perspective and helping you to make new friends. If you have any questions or require some additional information, feel free to reach out to us via email. My email address is mEdding at hinsdalelibrary.info, and you can reach Susan at smcbride at hinsdalelibrary.info. We hope you find the idea of international pen pals as intriguing as we do. Have a great day and stay safe.